Kevin, can you get the door for me, please? Hello? Hello. I'm Who is it? Mr. Allen, please. Yo, you need some guy from the Matrix! Hello. How am I looking? Hello, Mr. Allen. I'm here from the IRS. I'm here to talk to you about your last tax return. Tax returns? Yes. We seem to have found some irregularities in the way you filed them. What kind of irregularities? We seem to notice there would be some deductions that don't seem to add up to the way you're living your life. And we wanted to discuss them. If it's appropriate right now, we, if I could come in? Sure. Thank you. Would you like a glass of water? No, thank you. Mr. Allen, after reviewing your tax return for 2010, we noticed six questionable areas that need to be brought to your attention. We have a standardized deduction and an itemized deduction. You have an earned income credit an American Opportunity Credit, a deduction for health insurance, and a deduction for transportation. What do you have to say about any of this? Well, Agent Smith, to be honest, I don't know about those issues that you're going to call for me. Uh, my tax return was completed by a private CPA. Would you like to speak with him? Yes, I think it's best you call him right away. Hello? Hey, Jesse, what's up? Listen, whatever you're doing now, you need to leave that and come to my house ASAP. I need your help right away, okay? I have this, listen, I have this guy from the Matrix asking me about my tax return. I need your help. Get over here right now. You know I can hear you, Mr. Allen. Mr. Gonzalez, I have a question for you. I was reviewing the tax return for 2010, and I noticed there was some issues that came up with standardized deductions and itemized deductions. Can you please explain it for me? Well, Mr. Smith, um, if you aren't aware, with the current tax code, the standard deductions have been raised from previous years to $5,700 for the year 2010 that my client is applying to. And itemized deductions no longer apply. The phase-out has been eliminated for the year 2010. So there, there's your answer. Mr. Gonzalez, I don't think you understand. The problem isn't the amount. The problem is that you took both. You only allow a standardized deduction or itemized deductions. Oh. I'll have to get back to you on that. Mr. Gonzalez, I noticed your client also took an American Opportunity Credit for a boy in college. Who is this boy in college? Well, Mr. Smith, I mean, that, that information you had there was provided to me by my client, so you would have to ask him that. Oh, yeah, it's my son, Kevin. Nice meeting you. Kevin! You're in college? Yeah, I'm a genius and I'm very mature for my age, Rafanoop. Mr. Gonzalez, I also noticed that Mr. Allen here is self-employed and he took a very large deduction for health insurance premiums. Can you explain this for me, please? Well, Mr. Smith, if you know this, from previous years, the deduction was a lower rate, but for the 2010 tax year, self-employed individuals can deduct up to 15%. So I believe with that information, my client qualifies. Hmm. I'll have to check my resources about that. Very well. Mr. Gonzalez, there's a number of other problems with this tax return. From an earned income credit that doesn't apply, to a deduction for your transportation, I think we're going to have to see you in court. What should I do? Eh? Eh? That concludes our presentation.